this might not actually work that well because of the way the camera balances light. So I'm going to, despite the fact that the sun is good, praise the sun, I'm going to lower that so that now my face is a little more visible. And there, there, there we go. There we go. All right. It's a shame because I've got both windows open and it's really enough light to do this by, but the camera doesn't seem to think so. Anyway, so today, today was a lot less stressful at work than yesterday, which is a nice plus. But the big winner, of course, was the weather. It got up past 70 degrees today and it was just gorgeous out. Um, I couldn't be happier. I really, part of me wanted to blow off work and just go down to the park. That's how it felt today. Um, but something rather weird happened. So um, <clears throat> there's a food truck that comes around, came around yesterday, that sells uh, grilled cheeses. And so I had one with guacamole on it yesterday. But it was a little too grilled, and I started to feel like the acid was going to hit. So I had a couple of Tums, which just made it felt like the food was sitting in my stomach most of the day. Because that's generally what happens if I have some Tums. The acid for digestion doesn't come the level it probably should, but it's better for my stomach. Uh, so today I decided to go light. And for lunch, I went back to the Starbucks that I get my morning coffee at. And I had a little fruit and cheese platter. Which was just really nice. I was going to sit and write some notes for a little bit. But uh, somebody linked... A list of patch notes for an upcoming Warframe patch and uh, I ended up reading that and looking at that and I have to say Warframe is very good about putting very very visually stimulating images on its websites and press releases which I think has helped the game a great deal uh, the actual in-game engine can look a little rough in places, given that it's a five-year-old game and it was in development for quite some time. But um, the new skins they're adding uh, are really delightful. I was, I was wholeheartedly impressed with a couple of them. Um, more impressed I was with the fact that... Is it to Yoda just now? More impressed I was with the fact that all that stuff went live when the patch notes went out. It wasn't sent out a week ahead. I don't have to wait until next week to you know be able to buy all this stuff with the real world money that keeps that game running. I can get it now. And I even got a 20% discount on my next platinum purchase. <sighs> they really like to get me. Um, I'll probably just buy a little bit, something like uh, one of the $300 ones, uh, packages, which will be uh, 16 instead of 20 with a 20% discount, um, which would give me enough to buy a new frame if I so desired, uh, or just keep me afloat in the uh, the less, the, the minor stuff that's, you know, a little more, like a cosmetic packs, that stuff I really do appreciate a whole bunch. Although, I'm still tempted to just go ahead and buy Mesa or Nidus, because they both sound like they could be a lot of work to get. Um, or maybe it's not Nidus, maybe it's Chroma. And Chroma has some amazing skins, too. Maybe I'll just buy some skins. I don't know. I got enough pieces to make an Oberon today, so that might be next. And my Valkyr, the only thing holding me back from building my Valkyr at this point is money. I need credits. So I'm going to be doing that tonight. And then probably rushing the build to get it finished so I don't have to wait three days. If it's if it's 24 hours to build the whole thing together, that's one thing. But uh, if it's 72 hours, then I'll probably just rush it. Um, but yeah, patch days. I used to look so forward to patch days when I was really into games. Uh, especially like World of Warcraft. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, MMO patch notes tend to be neat little treasure troves that can change the way you perceive a game. Which is funny because patch notes, the whole idea behind patches originally was that they were just fixes. They were just put in place to uh, make games released on PC with an internet connection more polished, a uh, little better balanced. Very rarely did they add anything new. 
it was really the 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 thing that makes MMOs so interesting isn't that there's a massive number of people playing at one time. Because you can do 64 player matches in Battlefield 1942, which came out back in like 2002. Gosh, that game is probably old enough to drive. But uh, th having a lot of players playing simultaneously isn't what makes MMOs special. And it's one of the things, whenever you see an acronym in a game, question it. I'm just going to say that right now. Whenever you see somebody give an acronym like RPG, MMO, MOBA, question it. Because those acronyms are often very misleading and anachronistic and representative of a line of thought that no longer accurately reflects what that style of game is. But uh, the example I give is that MMOs aren't special because they're massive. They're special because they're persistent. There's a game world there that you will leave when you log out and return to when you log back in. And the things that exist in that world, in that shared space especially, remain persistent. And it's the difference between a game like Warframe, which is massive, and you can have lots of people gathering in places, and I've been to a couple of those places. It is an MMO at some level, but the individual missions that you go on are limited to single-player excursions by yourself or a squad of four people. And, yeah, that it, it straddles the line. Monster Hunter is sort of the same way. You, you have a persistent sort of set of equipment, and you can form, uh, I don't know what they're called, clans, squads, groups. They're groups of players that are, and those groups are persistent. And you can have 16 people in a gathering hub, but it, it is not really an MMO because when you go out into the world, you're either by yourself or with four people. And that's become a very popular model, just the squad of four. Even even uh, Final Fantasy XIV does groups of four, not five, like World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is sort of uh, an outlier, and five is a, honestly a harder number to work with um, because it always means you're waiting for that one more person, and that one more person could be what's holding your group back. So, <sighs> sun and patches. That's the theme for today. I look forward to both, although I think I favor sun a little bit more. I'm Eric Spornitz, and tomorrow will be better.